Hello everyone, today I'm going to present you a video tutorial about a website that makes distance learning quite fun. The name of the website is Padlet. Padlet is a digital board where teachers can post on the wall and share it with their students and students can also post on the same wall and share with their teachers and with their friends as well. This way it keeps all the students active during the classes, during the remote classes. Let's see how it works. To begin you need to go to padlet.com and we need to sign up. Let's sign up for free. I'm going to sign up with my Google account. A free account gives you three Padlets per week. So you can create only three Padlets with your free account. This is the main dashboard of the Padlet. As you can see, there is a gallery here and you can choose among the gallery and there are different ways to create a Padlet. So you can create a wall, you can create a stream or a grid Padlet or a shelf, a map, a canvas or a timeline. We are, today we're going to start creating our own Padlet. So we need to make a Padlet. In order to do this, we need to click on make a Padlet. And it will show us different ways about how to make a new Padlet. We can make a wall, stream, grid, shelf, map, canvas, or a timeline. If you are a history teacher, timeline Padlet will be the best for your class. Or if you're teaching uh, history, no, geography, a map can, uh, Padlet would be great for your classes. Today, we're going to start with wall padlet but later you can change your padlet to stream to grid to shelf or a timeline let's go a new window pops up and it asks us to give a title to our padlet and the title of our padlet is going to be sports and the description will be what is your favorite sport? And you can set an icon for your palette. And you can find an easier address to your Padlet so that your students can easily copy it and reach it. You can change the wallpaper of your Padlet. There are different options for the wallpaper. You can choose solid colors or you can choose gradients or textures and patterns or you can even choose pictures already exist in the website or you can even add your own wallpaper if you have it on your desktop let's choose there's a desert picture And then you can choose the font for the texts. For the posting on the wall, it, when it comes to attribution, if you want your student's name to be displayed when they post something on the wall, you have to click and open the attribution. And uh, if you 
want to arrange your posts in an order. So if you want your new posts to be to appear first, you have to uh, set them this way first and last. If you want your students to be able to comment on the posts, you have to turn on this comment and then you can set reactions. So if you want your students to like the posts, you can click on like, or if you want them to vote on something, uh, you can click on the vote, or if you want them to give stars to a post or to something that you share with them, you can click on star, or you can give them grades, or you can ask them to grade something, you can click on the grade and set a grade. Today I'm going to click on like. So if they like the post, they'll just click on like and they can comment on, the, on it. And about the content filtering, if you if your students are sharing something, if you click on require a moderator to approve, every post on the wall will be approved by the teacher or by the moderator. So the post will be posted on the wall if the moderator approves it. So if you click on filtered profanity, the bad words used by the posters will be changed with nice emojis. Let's click on this too. And we're all set. We're ready to click on next and start writing something on our wall. So let's click on start posting. So our wall is all set and ready to post something on. We can post something on our wall by two ways. If you double click on the wall, you can post something or you can just click on this icon. You can post something as well. The subject is going to be football. You can Upload pictures or you can take pictures, you can add links, you can add images, or you can even do all those things. You can add an audio recorder, you can record your screen, you can add a location, or you can record a video. You can add a link, something from YouTube, something a song from or a podcast from Spotify. You can search an image, you can search a GIF, you can also do a web search. I'm going to search a GIF about football. And I want this. So when I click on publish, it will be published on my wall with the picture. Let's add a new post and make it swimming. And this time, let's add a swimming GIF. And it's ready to be published. Now the students can add command on the post or they can like it or dislike it. If you want to edit your post, go and click on edit and you can edit your post. 
you can change the picture post or you can type something else on your post when you click on update your changes will be saved or by clicking on three dots you can open the post you can open post in a new tab you can copy link to post edit post duplicate post or transfer post or set a path set the post as the palette cover or you can delete the post when you have enough posts and you're ready to share it with your students just click on this icon and here you can share your posts your palette with your students you can share your palette with your students by clicking link to the copy board and then sharing it with your, with your students or if you have a drive google drive you can share the padlet through google drive or there are different exporting options you can save the padlet as an image as pdf file or you can even print it and there are some other changes that you can do you can add bookmark to your Padlet or you can remake your Padlet, change the name of your Padlet or do some other changes or you can modify your Padlet. Here also you can change the name of your Padlet and do the settings or change the settings we have done in the very beginning of creating the first Padlet. Or if you click on these three dots, you will have more options. You can see the details of your Padlet. You can also share an export, add bookmark, remake it, settings, change format. Let's change the format of the Padlet. Let's turn our Padlet into A grid. Now it's a grid. Let's change the format again and see what happens. Let's change the format to a shelf now. A shelf padlet would look like this way. Let's change it again and see how it looks in a timeline. In the timeline, it looks this way. That's all for Padlet. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.